Hey friends, hey friends, your girl here, Tanisha, at successlevelcoaching.com, guys. So this morning, doing my personal development with Tony Robbins, and he was talking about, you know, what makes you happy, you know, what is your blueprint for happiness, you know, and we all have blueprints for happiness, we all have blueprints, uh, you know, for being unhappy, so he was saying, you know, what do you, what is the happy areas of your life? What are the things in your life that if you think about it right now, you will be happy, right? So I started to think, I started to say, you know, my business makes me happy, you know, me, you know, being able to create a family, you know, my husband, my kids, being able to, you know, get a house and, you know, just moving, you know, forward, right? But he also talked about the things that you are unhappy, you know, about. Now, what I realized, guys, is that a lot of people always focus on the things that they are unhappy about, right? So what makes you happy, right? And if you're happy in an area of your life, that means you have that blueprint. Your blueprint is, I'm supposed to go to work. I'm supposed to take care of my kids. Um, you know, I'm supposed to, uh, you know, provide, you know, for my family. So that makes you happy, right? So you're doing what your happiness blueprint is set right so you set your own you know your own happiness right your own blueprint for you know your happiness and then somebody else may say you know what i gotta be making a lot of money and i want to take my kids different places and i want to show my kids different things right or i want to homeschool my kids and that's your that's their happiness uh, uh blueprint right so here's the thing guys think about this right when you were a kid right what did you think about right what did you say you wanted to do right you said you wanted to be a doctor a lawyer or you know engineer a, a cop you know whatever right so we were dreaming as kids but as adults guys it's like we forget to dream and then people search for happiness right so think about the things right now guys immediately okay that's making you happy what are the things right now that are making you happy right or what are the things that helps you to thrive to make you happy right what is your blueprint for happiness right are you happy with your body are you happy with your income are you happy with your finances are you happy you know with your family are you happy you know with your job you know see here's the thing set your blueprint right and then when you you know exceed your blueprint you're happy and you're even happier but when you don't exceed your blueprint now you're depressed and this is why people go uh you know in depression because they never map out okay guys people never map out right happiness what does happiness look like right what does happiness mean right what are you mapping out for your happiness right what is your happiness blueprint you gotta think about these things guys right because you know we all want happiness we all want money right we all want to you know live a lavish lifestyle and, and 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 be rich and all that but you know if your happiness blueprint is set to i just want to go to work and take care of my kids that makes me happy then that's all you're gonna achieve right and that's all the happiness you're gonna achieve but if you raise the bar and say you know my happiness is I want to be home with my kids right I want to be making money from home I want to be able to have the time to do what I want to do so now you raise your happiness blueprint right and now you're gonna push yourself towards doing that guys here's the thing you know life is not rocket science right it's actually what you make it Right? It's not rocket science. It's what you make it. If you want more in your life, you got to find out how to get more, how to do more, and actually go do it. Now, you got to get a blueprint for that, guys. But everybody seeks happiness, guys. And happiness only comes from within. Everybody seeks happiness, guys. But happiness comes from within. You can say how happy you want to be or how sad you want to be. Right? You can say, I want to be, you know, blissful. Or you can say, you know what, I want to be desperate. Or I want to be depressed. Right? 
So what is your happiness blueprint looking like, guys, right? So if you say, all I want to do is pay my bills, that make me happy. You know, make sure my kids get to school and eat, that makes me happy. That's all the level of happiness, guys, that you are going to get. But if you say, I want to travel with my kids, I want to take my kids places, I want my kids to explore and see the world, right? Now you raise the bar. Right, and then now you do more, right? A lot of people are depressed, guys, right now because they're not achieving the happiness that they want, right? If you go ask five of your co workers today, guys, are you happy? You know, maybe one of them might say, Yeah, you know, I'm happy with my life, I'm happy where I'm at. Most people are not happy where they are at, they're not, right. That's why everybody wants more. Everybody wants to do more. And people think money is going to make them happy. No. Money, no. Money just makes things easier, right? But it doesn't necessarily make you happy. Because I know people that don't have a lot of money and they're happy. they happy with where they are. See, it depends on your blueprint. See, Tony Robbins, that's why I told you guys, you got a personal grow. You, you, you wake up in the morning and tell God thank you you listen to your personal growth for 30 minutes before you get out to bed or when you're getting out to bed and you're getting ready to start your day and you put your herbs in your body guys so your body and your mind everything could be flowing okay so because you got a million dollars you may still just want to take care of your kids right and pay your bills and that's your level of happiness but you're doing it with a million dollars Right? Or if you're making 40 grand or 50 grand a year, your level of happiness is I want to take care of my kids and, you know, go to work. All right? Or even if you're making 40, 50 grand and you traveling all the time with your kids, taking your kids places, buying your kids nice, expensive things, that's your happiness blueprint. Right? So you determine your happiness, guys, not your money. Right? Now, money makes things easier, of course, it's shit. Right? It makes it easier, right? But if you attach your feeling, I used to do that. Attach your feeling to money. What, what if you don't get any money that week? Or what if you don't get any money that day? Or what if you lose money, right? So, so what, you're not gonna be happy now? Right? So you can't attach your happiness to money, right? That's why when I tell people they want to start a business, you got to have a bigger purpose than money because if you're attaching, you know, your life, okay, changing, revolving around money and you don't make none, then you quit. That's why most people quit <laughs> because they feel like in order for them to be happy, they need money. No, guys. First of all, you got to value you. You got to say, I am valuable. I'm that valuable person. What do I bring to other people, right? I am a valued person, a valued person. Now, what can I bring to other people so they can see my value, so they can exchange with me, right? People don't understand that. People feel, oh, I just want to get right to the money. I don't got time. I don't need no learning curve. I just got to get right to the money and then... In 30 days, when they don't get right to the money, they quit. Or 30, <laughs> shit, three hours. They don't get right to the money, they quit. Right? Because now they're attaching, right, their happiness to a dollar figure amount that they're not willing to work for. So, guys, what is your happiness blueprint? Some people are happy not having a lot of money, believe it or not. Right? There's a lot of people that's like, I'm happy with, you know, $200 in my bank account. After I pay my bills. Because they still feel like they got money left over. Right? Some people are not. Me, I'm not. Right? I'm not happy. Right? Think about these things, guys. Think about these things. What is your happiness blueprint? And once you understand what your happiness blueprint is, guys. Now you're going to start moving towards... The life you want. Right? Now you start moving towards the life and the lifestyle that you want.
but it can't be money, guys. It cannot be money. You cannot attach your happiness to money. Because here's the thing. Tax season is around the corner. A lot of people are attaching their happiness right now to their taxes. Right? They're going to feel good. They're getting four grand, five grand, ten grand, however much they're getting. They're happy right now. Right? They're excited right now. They're going to buy their kids stuff. They're going to buy themselves stuff. They're paying off bills. Guess what? When that money runs out, what, what now? They're depressed again? Right? They're depressed again? Right? They feel good. Right? Because they got money to spend and they're attaching a feeling to the money. Right? But once the money's gone, what happens? <laughs> now they don't feel good no more. Now they're mad <laughs> again. Right? Now, now, now they're upset. Now they're aggravated. Now they can't breathe. Because they attached their happiness to that little check that they got from the government. So what is your happiness, friends, blueprint? Okay, think about that. Oh, what is your happiness blueprint, friends? Choice is yours. Go to Tanisha's online class.com, guys. I'm at the gym. Watch my free webinar. Understand how you can get on the other side of money. See you soon, guys.